Yo guys, I'm Toru, and welcome to this Heartspan 4 video. I'm really excited to record this because I found a little, I guess you can call it an exploit. It's like a strategy slash exploit kind of thing I found. And you may have seen who I'm going to be playing there right quickly. We're going to be playing Canada. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be the puppet master of World War II. We're going to dictate World War II and how it's going to go in 1937. So what we're going to do, we're going to do something and you can do this like that. You need, you don't really need historical on, but you can have it on if you like. I'm just going to go into Iron Man mode. This, I am on default, so you can get a cheat. Like there's no mods on or anything. I don't have any, I don't have any achievements. Hmm, must have bugged my game or something. I was I was modding and I think uh, the nudge bugged my game. I gotta figure out how to fix that, but whatever. Ignore that. But uh doesn't mean it really matter what you're what you're researching here. You could research whatever. But you need to follow a strict thing here. So this whole thing, this whole discovery, all started with me asking a simple question. How can you get to this focus as fast as possible? Commit to the war. And I had a few strategies. I had initial assumptions as to the way you could do it. And I kind of got stuck for a while. I, so my initial strategy, I don't know why I'm building that, whatever. My initial strategy was to build build up uh, my initial strategy was to start a civil war and that worked and I think I got it ju just at the end I could get by waiting for the Anschluss to happen I could get to commit to the war by the end of 1938 not like I was kind of satisfied kind of satisfied with that not kind of not because that's like it's not that far off from when you can get it in their usual game just by playing normally. Like, just playing historically. Just sitting around doing nothing. But then I found the way I'm going to show you, and it, show, it led me to a whole lot more than getting commit to the war. By doing this, you're pretty much screw. You're going to be joining the Axis. You're going to be going fascist. You have to go fascist or this will not work. If you go communist, it won't work because like you're the whole point of doing this is to help Germany win the war by screwing the United Kingdom. And what you're going to be doing is annihilating its navy really early on, two years before the war starts. And when I did some tests of this, I mean, I, I screwed up a few times, but I was just really tired and I didn't notice what I was doing and I made a few mistakes. Jeez, it went up really quick. But, uh, I think I got it down. I shouldn't make any mistakes here. At least I'm, I think. So, two focuses you need to get right off the bat. Don't even, you don't, don't get these. Don't, don't get them. These Patriation and the Swastika Clubs are the only ones you need to get. And then, if I sound a little stuffy, sorry about that, it's allergies. And then you just sit and you go into a civil war. So once you get patriation, they'll give you the all that. I almost I'm clicking the wrong one. Swastika clubs. And then by the time you have swastika clubs, you should have about 160 political power. And then so that will allow you to get the fascist demagogue. If you're wondering. I position why I position my units here this front line on this black line that runs between this province so along here this is where that you're going this is your to be your side of the border for the Civil War I've done this enough I can remember where it is just place your units along these provinces here and then once you'll be right on the border you can just set a front line and then just push in so don't need that anymore. Get the fascist demagogue and then just accumulate 
political power. You don't need to get any more focuses or you'll mess it up. It won't do it, do it as fast. You can kind of like time stamp this. By the time you get what this is at about 75, but it's just a little more than 75 when you can get this. You'll have 10% support for National Unity Party. And then you could double click here, here. So that will bring down your stability. Also, something that they did, I don't, I'm not sure if they told you in, the, in uh, they say in the diaries, the dev diaries, or when uh, Waking the Tiger came out, but stability, when they changed National Unity to stability, they changed how you get the events for the political power. Sorry, not political power. The, um, the party party popularity, and they changed the events the way they work. So you'll get those events based on how low your stability is. So if your stability is really low, it's like say if it's around fifty percent or lower, you'll start getting those events more often. You will I, you'll hardly ever get them. Like it's not zero percent chance for you to get them when it's above like 70 but it's very low it's hardly ever you'll get them but so like the closer you are to 50 or below the closer the, the more often you're going to get those times kinds of events so you're going to want to get these insured the army command loyalty for both of them and then both do the ones that cost political power well the ones that cost more political power so that it's a guaranteed that they will get uh this trait hidden sympathies because if they have hidden sympathies, then you'll most likely get them during the Civil War. There's a chance this guy you will always get during the Civil War, even if he doesn't have hidden sympathies. So you don't really need to worry about that. So I'm at 60%. I might get an event here. I'm going to save up until I get lower Army Command loyalty. So this is going down already by, by a little bit. All these Paramount. So he did get it. Sometimes I get this guy getting it, he'll have it, but then, but it, it's usually random which one of the um, generals you'll get the uh, hidden sympathies for. I don't think I got him once during my testing, it was usually the other guy, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, so Ignite Civil War, and as you can see they are on the border. The only different, the only uh, thing I have a problem with doing civil wars as Canada is if you're still Dominion you'll have the Dominion flag even though that you're the one who's free and then the puppet will get the regular flag I think that's a bug but uh, it doesn't really matter it's just it's, it's a little annoying to me just because I miss I like I, I like having aesthetics let's just click the general and said so they will have four divisions so they have four divisions not five and it's giving an estimate but you might be wondering why am I still not doing the focus well there's another thing we need to do is we need to get Britain into the war into the Civil War now the reason they can't join the Civil War is because the world tension is too low world tension needs to be above 40% for them to join a Civil War I believe so in order to do that you justify I need United States now that we brought world tension up we can also do this which is to end we have a a 10 day a 10 day uh, advancement on it Forgot the word to use there so now we can go down this we all but we all we don't we're not going to declare war on the United States we don't need to we just need to justify on them until we get this one. But one thing I need to show is, and I do not give the military access. They will take territory in your civil war. So the moment I unpause, United Kingdom has joined. All right. So now we're at war with the United Kingdom. I don't think I really need to worry about this. I should train divisions. I forgot to do that. But yeah, trade divisions, like three cavalry, because that'll give you 2,000 manpower left over to use in the Civil War. Because since you don't have much units, you won't use it that up. You probably won't use that up. But you have units to take this territory from them. But 
now we can call the United States into the war because we are the ones they guarantee and we can also join the Axis and then we get yeah but do not they will it, you'll keep justifying on them don't stop justifying until you're done this or we will cancel and you won't be able to do it again because they'll you'll then since they'll be your ally you won't be able to you will not be able to justify on them oh well they're taking tar territory either way well whatever whatever I don't care you'll probably still be able to take the territory anyway do not oh also do not uh, invite Germany into it the whole point of doing this is to use the United States' Navy to take out the United Kingdom's Navy. Now, whoever, whichever side comes out in the end is different each time. I've noticed there, there's been different results. Sometimes the United, the United Kingdom loses most of their Navy, and then sometimes, you know, the United States loses most of their Navy. Now, the whole point of getting committed to the war, if you're wondering, if you've never played Canada, is that you can't up your conscription laws. You can't get to limited conscription unless you have the focus commit to the war. Which, if you play regularly, you have to wait till you, till you're at war with Germany to do this. If you just play the game normally. So if you're like still Dominion and you haven't, like, become separate, like I have done here, or gone for uh, independence, you will not be able to do this at all. Like Republican Spain's gonna win that one, but whatever. Just a little exploit. I, I, I thought I'd, I'd share. I thought it was really interesting that this is something that the, the developers, maybe missed or something. I mean, they. <laughs> this is a really obvious. Like, I hope that when they capitulate, Canada, they, um, like, I hope they fix this so that you're the one who gets your flag and then they have the dominion flag and then but also they should be the United States should be guaranteeing the dominion of Canada oh well I guess they're free are they free no why are they called Canada huh I don't know why that is well once Vancouver falls so I'll just uh, over here go take Vancouver but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm just gonna wait and see. So we got Defense of Canada. Now we can cancel justification. We brought well pension back down. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Because we got this and we're at war. Right now, we can get commit to the war. And you'll get commit to the war around this uh, around June, around the time Japan declares war in China. If you're playing on a historical. So that, that's just something I thought I'd share. It was pretty cool. Canada, this is the fastest way for you to get commit to the war as Canada. So this you can mobilize two years faster than normal. You can shave two years off of the um, your mobilization time. Actually, it's more like three, almost three years. No, two and a half. I'll say two and a half. Are they taking Vancouver? No. But they have someone garrisoned. They have a unit. Oh, well, they don't. He's sitting next. Why is he sitting next? Why is he sitting next to Vancouver? <laughs> These mountains are gonna slow me down. But I'll, I'll see. We'll see the results of the, um, of the war. I'll, I'll speed it up. Oh, are you gonna take Vancouver? Oh, he's gonna take Vancouver. All right, that's fine. He's coming from my territory. Canada capitulated, and yeah, capitulated to me. That's good. Because sometimes it does capitulate to the United States. Just be careful about that one. But now you have commit to the war. Let's uh, jump to 19, 1939 and see what the results of this little puppeteering that Canada has done. Is it? Are they guaranteeing Poland? United Kingdom's guaranteeing Poland. Okay, and Germany's. They're not joining. Wait, oh, I pause. There we go. Now they're in the war. <laughs> Now they're in the war. Okay. Well, status 55, 60, 68, 79. 
Time to rejoin the Axis. It's in Italy and an Attache. Because they, uh, they, well, they're taking on France. Dead in a second. Yep, yeah, there's Poland. Gone. Now Germany should be sending their units. They are doing around the Maginot. Alright. Cool. Let's do garrison there. And I want you to just equip to that guy. should fall soon. Yep, because they're all going to join the allies. They'll fall, then France will fall, then the only one will be left will be the United Kingdom. Used to have a decent sized navy, which is, usually, which is astonishing. You still have a decent navy. You have no navy. You have barely any, like, You've lost quite a bit of your navy. Considerable chunk. And Brussels fallen. I think this will, oh, yeah, Belgium capitulated. Take over. Come on, I want to take over. Oh, I wanted to take it. Maybe yeah, I can take Glasgow. I, I haven't even used one single front line since my Civil War. Bam. Satellite Serbia. Oh, 
And that is how you you beat the allies as Canada. Pretty much Canada <laughs> how to and pretty much ruin the allies' day as Canada. Cause now all that's left is the Soviet Union. In an Axis dominated world, and the United States should be going fascist pretty soon here. Civil war ends. The war that has torn our nation has at last ended. We may now begin the task of reunifying the people and repairing the destruction. Yes, we do. <laughs> oh, they canceled my non aggression. Are they, it, I, please don't declare war on me. <laughs> please don't do that. Do it to me, please. Let's do that. Why not? So I got my former territories, and I think if I ask, you know, ask them for Newfoundland and Labrador, they think they should give it to me because I'm an ally. But. That concludes my tutorial. So it's, uh, it's actually more of a, like a demonstration of uh, of how to beat the Allies and ruin the entire Second World War as Canada. <laughs> so I just I I never played it out, but I did know it would go like this, like to the point where it would uh, the the United Kingdom would not have a strong enough navy to deal. With uh, the United States, uh, Germany, and Italy, and then if it lasted long enough, Japan as well. Wait, oh, well, we, we could have seen a. Uh... Well, I guess they weren't part of the Axis, so well they might have. Uh, Japan declared war on them, but never know. So that was my uh, little exploit I found. Is Canada? You can. Pretty much take out the United Kingdom. I think I didn't get the achievement, which sucks. But uh, me one, me if I uh, try again at some point, I'll be able to do it. Hold on, Is it? yeah. As any British subject, control all, conquer all of Britain. So I think I need to actually like have control over. The yeah uh, over the United Kingdom. Ah, that's all right. Italy controls Africa. Oh, I just have a little I saw the thing there. Hmm. Oh, 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 no, no, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> but that was my video. If you uh, guys enjoyed it, uh, leave a like and. A, maybe a comment on maybe something else I should try to do in uh in Hoi 4 see if there's any other strategies I we can come up with but thanks for watching now I'll see you guys in the next video